Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 5. Today is episode number 19. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy. Right, so what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be doing the Gran Turismo karting experience. This is an advanced uh, level. So we're going to be starting with the first one, and we need to swap over to the car. Actually, that's a good shout. Uh, that will be under premium, won't it? Yes. Here we go. Change car. Let's grab the car. 33 brake horsepower. That's all this thing has. And let's... Right, so we are here at Tokyo Bay for the first of the karting events. Let's go. Here we go. Let's do this. One. Go, go, go. And there's no gearbox for this car as well, which is awesome. Oh! What are you doing? Come on! Nice. The light level is a little bit um, distracting. We have one more car to overtake, but we've just got four more laps to do it in, so we've got plenty of time. I'm not letting him take goals from me, though. That's a lot of money. Whoa, come on, that's not fair. Right, we are in first, going on to the third lap. Perfect. Nicely done through there. I feel like just lifting the accelerator and coasting is better than braking at the moment. Uh, but we will see at some point. Car is 0.5 seconds behind. Perfect. Yeah, they are catching up. Oh, they are close behind me. Onto lap number four. It is very difficult to do this with. A bit of grip there. It's very difficult to do this while it's this dark. It is basically night time right now. Awesome. Nice, we got that corner very well there. On to the final lap now. Let's go. Nice. 
but they are still close on my tail. There was not a lot of room for error for that race, but we managed to keep our call cool and get that gold trophy. So nice. How much money was that? I think it's like 50, 80, 50,000. Oh, you get all the trophies. I forgot. It's challenges. 119,000. Nice. And the next race should be level 18, which unlocks. Um, I think level 18 unlocks the next race for the Nürburgring. Um, the Nürburgring special, which we should be able to then do in this episode as well. Because the Nürburgring is just awesome. So let's go. Next one. Autumn Ring Mini. Right, let's do this. Number 69 car is going to win the race. Go, 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 go. Right, I'm going to shift over to behind this guy. Get a little bit of slipstream. And we're going to take the racing line as much as possible throughout this race. It is weird going around a full race circuit, though, because obviously it's wider. Oh, he spun off again. Two people spun out. Crazy. Obviously, you have to stay as far away from the curves as possible because that creates a massive interference. Awesome. Sixth place is very good so far. But we need to start catching up at some point. Oi! Don't hit me in the back. Perfect. Awesome. Right. No! That's not fair! How is that fair in any way, shape, or form? That was so toxic. Right, we are just aiming for... Oh, I'm still aiming for first. I want first. But right now, I'm aiming for a trophy. That was ridiculous though, he spun me out. Right, we're at exactly the same position we were at the start of the last lap. I was hoping he would go over the curb and spin out. Oh, the guy behind me spun out though, karma. Right, good save there. Come on, come on, come on. We've got two more to overtake. Each one is a huge paycheck. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, saved it. No! Third. Ah, oh, we went wide right at the end. That's not a problem though, because we still should get enough XP. Uh, to get to level 18 to unlock that. Hopefully. Yes, level 18. Nice. Right, so next up is going to be the AMG, I think. AMG Championship around the Nürburgring. So we're going to take a look 
and see exactly what car we have to offer. Or what they have to offer. Um, right. Mercedes Driving Academy. Advanced. And a 300 SL Coupe. What's this one then? 300 SL Coupe 54. What's the difference between that one and this one? They're exactly the same. Oh, I see the difference. We're doing wet driving in this one. Fair enough. That's going to be a challenge that I'm going to enjoy. Right, so the AMG challenge was a little bit too difficult for me to complete. But what we are going to do today is we are going to do the Gallardo Trophy. So we have the road circuit. So we're going to go around that. It is a five lap race, which shouldn't be too much of a problem for our Gallardo to do. Based on the fact that we've got 680 horse. Right, so we are here in the Lamborghini Gallardo event at the circuit of Rome. And we have 10.79 miles to go to drive. Let's do this. Nice. Good start. Lamborghini is very quick off the line here. Perfect. down for the corner. Nice. Come on, come on. Perfect. Slowing down for the corner. Nice. Oh, very wide through there. Oh, yeah, this car has an interior. That's awesome. I don't like the way that the guy's moving his hands. It's creeping me out. I think I might have to change the camera angle just because of that. I've got a power off message on the TV screen. There we go. Got rid of it. Perfect. Right, slowing down. Perfect. Nice. Coming on to a lap number four now. Here we 
go across the line. Lap number four. Across the line, 1 minute 11.2. Wow, that was one and a half seconds faster than our second fastest lap. That is awesome. Right, so I know I said uh, we're not going to be taking the Bugatti Veyron again, but I changed my mind. So we're going to be going around the high speed ring with the Veyron. Let's go. Right, so we are here at the high speed ring with the Bugatti Veyron. Let's go. We're going to be doing this race and the next race with the Veyron. And I changed the colour to matte white, which we got from the carton experience. Um, and it looks amazing. Ah, oh, just listen to that car. The grip. Perfect. Got around that corner very nicely there. And goodbye wing. There we go, nice. Through the S-Bend very nicely there. I think the game's glitched out because for some reason the headlights are on. The rear lights are on. There is a button that you press to switch them, but I can't work out which one it is. Nice. That is a perfect corner there. Nice. 
Right, we're going to see how quick this gets on the straight now. Hundred and eighteen we got so far. Oh, we've gone off the track a little bit there. Awesome. the line. 3 minutes and 13 seconds that took. 3 minutes 13.2. Very nice. Right, on to the next race now. Right, so we are now here at Monza for a 10 mile race. It's going to be the final race of the episode and my long recording session. I think um, the past 4 videos have been recorded all in one go, which is... I'm tired. <laughs> I've done... It. Oh! Crash into... Uh, get past him. We've done a lot of recording today, so... Awesome. Car's a little bit too quick for him, man. Nice. Right, time for some more speed. Nice. Right, next section is where we're going to get the most speed out of this car. Going over 200 miles before we even come past the start finish line. Slowing down way too much there. Need that down for. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'm liking this. Oh, very close to the inside there. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Let's see how much speed we can get now. Have some real speed, bitch.
started breaking a little bit later. Look at that heat coming off of that tyre, though. Oh, to be fair, that normally starts happening around about this time anyways. Around about four minutes is when the tyre's like, now nah, I've had enough of racing. That's what always happened with uh, this Veyron in the past two episodes. Burn. Oh, nearly. Nice. On to the final section. Like I will need to upgrade the tyres to uh, hards, racing hards, because that might withstand a little more from the very run. But fastest lap yet, one minute forty point two nine five. Decent, very decent time. And to be fair, we were against like GTR V specs, R thirty threes, R thirty twos. We're against some RS fours, RS sixes from like. Most of these cars were before 01, 02, 02, and ours is 09, so maybe cheating, but it don't matter. 577,000 credits. Nice. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date with all the stuff going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to go take a look in the description for links of socials and all sorts of other places. And also, we have finally got merch down there, so go check that out. And if you want to help support the channel, hit that join button. It means the world to me. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Run for your fucking life.